Ah, Skyblock. You spawn on a small island in an endless void, stranded. The only way to win is to create the best island you can. So how much could one person accomplish in a hundred days of Skyblock? But before we start day one, did you know not many of the people that watch these videos are actually subscribed? Subscribing's free, it only takes a second, and it really helps me out. So if you like the video, that'd be really nice of you. <laughs> I've been playing on Skyblock Ice for so long now, and we finally merged ice and fire together. We're making air. It just released literally an hour ago. And I'm gonna be real. My goal is to win. First thing we gotta do, make an island. All right, what do we get? Uh, okay, garbage. <laughs> Go away. Yep. Boop. We're wasting precious daylight. The moon's already in the sky. Let's get- Wait, we should preserve this. I wanna preserve this area. I wanna keep it. It's gonna be nice. Perfect. Day one. Nature preserve. Okay, what can we get from this shop right now? I've got $25,000. That's what we start off with. Materials are still fine spawners. Is there anything different about you? Snowman. That's odd. My god. Day two was spent thinking of what to do next. <laughs> We need a lot of money, and the, a good way to get money has always been farming. Sugarcane sells for $10 per one. Cactus is about eight, which is pretty good. The only issue is it takes a very long time to build a good cactus farm, and sugarcane grows really quickly. I'm gonna make a sugarcane farm. Eight. What? One sugarcane? No. <laughs> no, I'm not, no. Oh my god. Okay, dirt's $10. I can do that. All right, this is gonna be our sugarcane farm. See, accounts on here don't load the whole map. They load, I think, one chunk at a time to help with lag. So, in theory, a fun trick about Minecraft accounts is that they load one chunk up and down all the way. So they'll load one chunk, all like million blocks of it. So I'm gonna take full advantage of that. At this point, I slowly started to realize how long this is gonna take me just to build one of these well, but I've already committed. I've already committed. I've already spent $4,000 on it, so I've kind of got to do it. Okay, now I've got to figure out a good way of doing the water system for this. Okay, I googled it. Apparently, we do this. Every two blocks, we go down one. How much is that? Woo! Oh, I'm sorry, tree. You're coming down. Hey, GG! Pim Taff, you for buying a monthly crate. The nature... <laughs> <laughs> Day three, ruin the nature preserve. Hey, that's good. Two sides. Can I afford to buy just a little bit more? Yeah, I guess. Wait, what? Oh, wait, that was, wait, that was cheap. $22. Oh, wait, oh, I was wrong. It was a stack for, oh my God. Sun setting already. I am making not very much progress. One there, go two there, go two there. There we go, right? I think this is right. Wait, that's not right. It's every two and sideways. Ah, like that, I think. And then the other one would have been there. Oh my god. <laughs> like this. Oh, I get it. Okay, I get it. <laughs> Why? There we go. Day four. Still on the show came from. I then started procrastinating. <laughs> okay, I went to spawn. It looks like just because of the opening, they were giving out crate keys. So now I've got some sky crates and some cloud crates, which is kind of nifty. The sky crates are supposed to be better. Okay, I'm gonna do the big one. Come on, please. Be something really good I need. Please be something I need. Squids. Trash! 500,000! That's pretty good. That's gonna help me out an awful lot. Now I can afford dirt. It's still nighttime, so I've got some time to work on this. I'm just gonna get this thing done. <sighs> Good lord. Okay, hole. There we go. I've done everything besides everything else. Okay, I put the holes in the ground at the right spot. I did all the counting. The only thing- Uh, we- we, we gotta- we- ah, uh, god. I have to go down like this. I'm gonna use dirt because it's cheap and just play stuff like that. All of this needs to be water anyway. Shouldn't take too long. No, no, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I asked him. Oh yeah! Beat death! What do you got on me? Death, nothing. <sighs> eh. Easy. Okay, the next thing we need to do is somehow obtain money because I cannot buy a single one of these sugar canes. Or I need to obtain sugar cane. Oh, my nature preserves back. The tree grew overnight. The slowest way of doing this would just be planting it and then just waiting for it to grow one more block and then placing another one and then waiting. So yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I need to find a way to get sugar cane 
a little bit quicker. However, the reason why we're doing sugarcane is because I've noticed on the auction house, people are selling these. Oh my god, for more money than I can buy them for. God. But they're selling them. They're making money from other players. Well, I didn't want it to have to come to this, but I did win the 500,000. I'll use that. I should be able to buy a little bit from auction house. I'm gonna buy it from players, not the server, because the server's ripping me off here. 750 each. There we go. Uh, purchase. Can I buy a stack? Ooh, that was 140,000 dollars. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna do that again. That was not all that much money for what I have gained. There we go. Oh, we're the first one. Hey, buddy. Okay, just for my own sake. There we go. I'm gonna grab some carpet and start placing them over these holes with water in them so I don't have to fall through them. Now I can walk right over them. This is lovely. Dude, we're growing a lot of sugarcane. This could be very profitable. Each one of these things that have grown there is $700. $700, dude. And it could be more. So there was a guy at spawn that threw me uh, this thing, a money pet. There it is. When I was opening the crate keys, it's already at level 200, which is pretty good. I activated it. Sell hand. There we go, 50% buff. So instead of $10, I sold it for 15, pretty cool. So instead of 640, it should sell for around $1,000 every stack. But that's just selling to the shop. If I sold to the players, it might be even more profitable. And there's another thing on the server, which I haven't told you about yet. You're able to win these harvester hose. These are really overpowered and I don't have one and I really, really want one. I do have kits. The media kit for, you know, YouTubers has two monthly crates in it. I have a lot of rewards, but I would really really like a harvester hoe. So I'm gonna um, sell out an open one. <laughs> okay, we got a bone, some money, a slayer robot. Oh wait, I got three slayer robots. <laughs> I don't know how to use you, dude, at all. I have no idea how you work. I'm gonna just put them away because I don't know what to do with you. Hey buddy, I'm gonna call you Daryl. Day six, I found a pet. <laughs> well, in the meantime, my sugarcane's grown. Look at that, already got another stack. Orc hand. Price per. So let's do a thousand dollars. That should make sixty-four thousand dollars. Hey, that guy just got five monthly crates, and that guy just got ten sky crates. Nice. Thank you, guy. <laughs> okay, they gave out more crate keys. Please land on that one, please. Oh, I got more cloud keys. Eh. Uh, okay, I'll take it. Oh, I got more. Okay, I'm kind of winning here. I now have nine. Come on, please, just one. No. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> I don't know whether to be happy or sad. It's still not getting me the harvest though. Please. No! What? Ooh! Fly! Wait, I can fly now. <gasps> Your boy! Okay, this is good so far. Still haven't used up all the cloud crates I've won. <laughs> I'm doing this forever. Oh my god! <laughs> I found an infinite money glitch. Still above the amount I started with, by the way. This guy j oh my god, I found a guy. Kelpero. We just secured one. It's gonna cost us pretty much all our money, but this guy Kelpero has one. KK, look in AH. Oh my god, why would he put it in AH? Is there a refresh button? Oh my god. Wait. <gasps> I asked Chris. I asked him how much they're worth. He said they're pretty rare right now, so I'd pay 10k mob coins. Oh, 20 million. I just paid 3 million for a 25, 20 million dollar item. Holy crap. Enable telekinesis. There we go. So, okay, well, look at this, right? Mob coins. You pay for a sugarcane upgrade in mob coins. I've just upgraded it. 5,000 mob coins. And now it's worth $40 instead of 10. If I upgrade it again, it's going to be worth 60. I'm going to upgrade it again. Okay, I'm already selling them for 90 with IS upgrades. I didn't think it also counted this. I'll upgrade that. Okay. Okay, there we go, a thousand down. Okay, let's do another one. Okay, I can't afford that. But yeah, how much are we selling them for now? Hold on. There we go, 45 plus 60. We're now selling them for 10 times what we were selling them for. However, the AH is still gonna be a better option for us. I need an alternate account in the middle of this thing. I just need one. I happen to have a friend that has a lot of alternate accounts, so I'm just gonna steal one. There we go, there he is. He's gonna just AFK this farm for me. No matter where I am, he's gonna be there making sure the chunks are loaded. I'm gonna harvest all of the stuff there, go to spawn. I'm gonna wait. A minute. And there we go. <laughs> yeah, he's 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 doing it. We're approaching day 10 now. The sun is going down and my ideas are coming up. Clearly the alt account works. And clearly I have just made a ton of money with all of the sugar cane. This right here is uh, almost half a million dollars. Interesting. So I could just keep running around here and just harvesting every sugar cane, but this is uh, inefficient to say the least. I feel like I want to have like a multi-layer farm. We're going bougie with this. I'm going to make farms so big you can't see the top of them. This is going to be good. Okay, we're going to need to go at least that tall. Let's go one more. Then it means I have room to place water sources, all of the above. 
pretty nifty. It's gonna be way easier now that I can fly. <gasps> it's raining, but it's built. I wasted the whole rest of the day on it, but it's fine. I do have the sugar cane this time to back it up. Don't... What? That was just about a million dollars gone. And I'm gonna move this out of my inventory just in case something goes wrong. So at this point, it'd be a good idea to point out I've done automatic sugar canes before in the past. Why am I not doing it now? It's because I'm poor. It's because I'm really, really poor. <laughs> Also, the servers had a redstone limit for a long, long time. And now with the addition of robots, I've kind of been thinking that we're not going to be able to be using sugarcane forever. We eventually are going to be shifting into mob spawners. And I don't want to be late, late to that party. Hey, GG. Jar Crispy, thanks for the February. He bought five February monthly crates. Oh my God. Hey, okay. And if I leave this guy for five minutes, I get another million dollars or so. Okay, half a million dollars. But there's two farms. I get like a third of a million. Okay, I get like $600,000 every time this thing is fully grown. But the issue is each blaze spawner costs like a lot. And so do iron golems like a lot. And honestly, the price of sugarcane yeah, is a little low, not gonna lie. They are getting sold because other people are offering them for much more. And when these big, big islands come in looking for deals, they buy the ones for $1,000 and 500, not for $5,000. Okay, how are the IS tops progressing? They're already at 9 million. Okay, what's the top person doing? They've got a lot of blaze, some squid, but I think that's just from the crate. Cows. Weird. There's a mystery right now in which, okay, you can see all the pets that are available here. All of them are accounted for. Skill pet you get in a crate. Don't know about the pirate pet. Horse pet, crates. Lucky pet, crates. Experience pets, AH or crates. Farm pets, no one knows how to get. But the farm pet, while the pet is activated, you're getting a 20% chance to drop certain items. Maximum 40% chance obtainable drop enchanted charcoal. 20% chance. At least while I'm harvesting this, I'm harvesting like three or four hundred sugarcane and the top layer. Let's say a thousand sugarcane I'm harvesting. It should mean I get like 200 enchanted charcoal. And if that's worth a lot, then that might be really good. I think you might be able to get them in the monthly key. That's the only other thing that I could imagine getting them in. Hmm. Do I really want to take this risk? Slash by. I'm gonna do it. I don't care. I'm gonna. There we go. Okay. I think this is what it is. Look, superior. This is the last thing you get. You can get a star rank, some giant ranks, a money pet to sell one, some robots, which I got before, or a pet pouch, which I believe is like a another crate just for pets, which I want. So I'm gonna buy five of them. <laughs> On day six, he wasted his money. Okay, I've got five of them. All I'm after is these. I don't care about much going on up here. I just care about down here. Just this one. Middle one. Middle row. Middle row. Middle one. Oh yeah, baby! Wait, what is it though? Oh my god, I got it first try! Farm pet superior. Are you kidding me? Wait, farm pet basic. Oh wait, no, I could win it still. I got a skill pet. Don't care about you. It's the basic one too. It's the garbage one. There's still a chance I can get another one. Nope. <laughs> oh, I got a minor robot though. You know, that's not bad actually. Hey buddy, awaiting instructions. Wait, can I get you to mine the sugar cane? Wait, can I get you to mine the sugar cane? Set mining block. Oh, okay, it's mining everything there. Ah, cool. Can I put you like right there? And then can I make you do something? Can't break that. Oh, come on. But if I put a cobblestone there, you would. It needs to be a block. It can't be a sugarcane. Okay, I almost, almost got away with having an automatic sugarcane farm. Back on the hunt. Oh, oh, yes. Okay, go on. Please, all I want is the farm pet. Anyone works. Ah, bup. What do you do? Oh, that. <laughs> One left. Let's go, baby. Okay, cool. Don't care about any of you. Oh, besides that, that's good. That's really good. Jesus, that's really good. Okay, cool. That That's good. Oh, yes. One more. Okay, try number three. Oh. Oh, darn. Wow, that's good. So I got the best one there is, and it's what I was after. It only took like three tries. Okay, so in theory, wait, do I need to activate it? Bam, there we go, activated, two minutes. Oh my God, wait, it's dropping, okay. Technically, every other block I'm breaking here is getting me one, which is pretty nifty. Okay, let's put all the sugarcane in the chest. I think it's definitely over. Cool down two minutes? That's nothing. How much do these sell for? <laughs> oh, 
Dude, it's a legendary pet. Well, this feels like the way to make money. So me selling that, around $200,000. But if I sold the sugarcane, I could in theory end up making more as long as I had the mob coins to back it up. But I need mob coins. And I have no idea how to get mob coins. Okay, let's sell hand. Another clean 200 thousand dollars. Yeah, this is definitely, I think, gonna be the way to level up. My only issue is that, like, I'm getting more coal than I am the sugar cane right now. For right now, this is actually a better way of making money for me. The coal sells for 36 grand when the sugar cane sells for one. It's like 30 times better! The only thing I need is mob coins. I do have some mob coin pouches. It's not really worth much. I could use this money in order to buy mob coins and then upgrade my sugar cane, but everyone's doing that, I think. But this is the one time I get to be above the market. If I level this harvest hoe up faster than the rest of the people, your boy has a pretty big advantage here. And with a legendary farm pet, this is probably gonna be easy. This guy said he sold 17,000 mob coins for 35 million. Hmm. Yeah, that's worth a lot then. Okay, this is gonna be the way to go. We're on like day 15. We're gonna make more of these. <laughs> a lot more. A lot more. I want this thing to be a tower to the moon thanks to that ult. I'm gonna check back on day 20. We just passed day 15. I'll check you. I'll check back in five days. It's day 25 in the trenches. The sugarcane farm took much longer than expected. I'm not sure how much longer I can hold out. I made six. I'm still tired from that bit. Oh my God. I made six of them. It was one more than I thought, but I thought it'd be impressive, but it also did take a much longer time. Also, I made a sandwich. Took a little bit longer than expected, but we're done. Now, in theory, let's do one layer of this. Just so I can do some maths. A little bit of sugarcane right in there. And coal. I'm going to make another chest for coal. Okay, let's sell all this. Sell hand. $74,000. Okay, $74,000 times. Alexa, what's 74,000 times by six? 74,000 times six is 444,000. Half a million. Okay, if I harvested all of that, we'd make half a million dollars just from selling it. Not even auction housing it. What are these people auctioning for? 400, 1,000. There's not a constant good supply of sugarcane, actually. Let's do the rest of it. And then as soon as this is done, I'm gonna time how long it takes to regrow. There we go. Now we wait. I'll take away a minute from whatever it's gonna be, or I'll just see when this top one grows. And then I'm gonna plunk all of this on the auction house for the same price as like way too much. That guy's selling 3,000 for 200. I could sell it for more than that, dude. Okay, ice upgrade. Bam. So I've now doubled it. Oh no, I haven't yet. God, doubling it would cost so much. Bam. Can I do it again? Bam. Okay, it's now worth $22. How much am I selling it for now? $150. I'm selling it for $150. Damn it. I couldn't take advantage of that guy's sell. There's so much money to be named to be made here. God damn it. Okay, let's see how long this is gonna take to grow one. Because all the rest of the layers will grow at the same time. So let's see. Well, that was around 12 minutes, which is not terrible. 12 minutes for this entire thing to go. It's Pretty, besides like one or two right here, then they're all done. And then obviously these are also all done. So yeah, 12 minutes, but that would be constant farming. Where's my one? 4,000 times by 1,000. That's gonna be 4 million? Alexa. 4,000 times 1,000 is 4 million. Yeah, 4 million in 12 minutes. On top of the like 500,000 for the coal, which I will now activate. <laughs> well, actually, it's not gonna be 4 million because that was more than just one inventory in there. That was maybe two harvests. So it's gonna end up roughly around 2 million every 10 to 12 minutes. 2 million every 12 minutes ain't bad. It's just, um, not fast enough for me. I kind of want more than that. I didn't go through the trenches for nothing. I didn't go in the in the sugarcane war zone for nothing. I went out here to become a multi-multi-billionaire and I will not just settle for the measly, measly, Easily sum of money that is two million dollars. No, no, no. Let's do something fun. I've got a money pet. Let's activate the money pet. Donk. And then sell all. 77,000 extra dollars. Nice. On top of the 220 that I already got. So about, for one harvest of all of that, about 300k. Around 3 million total. Okay, let's put it up for its regular price now. A thousand. There we go. Now it's at a competitive price point. There we go. Sugar cane on AH. Competitive price. Only at Finn's Sugar Mart. And now we wait for the money to roll in. Roll in. Why are you not rolling in? Well, I do have one other idea. 
I'm gonna buy some lava. I'm gonna buy some water again. Actually, no, I'm not gonna buy water. I have free water. Okay. The other thing I have is minor robots. I've got four of them, which is pretty okay. Next order of business on day 31 was to build a cobblestone farm out of wood because I am an idiot, apparently. I've realized that this is an issue, but it hasn't burned yet. So we're gonna just roll with it. It's probably fine. What's the worst that can happen? What I also want to do is put hoppers here. Let's plop these like there. And I would put some here as well, but I can't. So I'm just going to put some there like so. Hey, perfect. Lots of room. Lots of room. Okay. Now, what I get to do is the fun bit, which is actually placing down all the robots. What I'm kind of testing here is whether these can mine through blocks. Hey, buddy, you're going to be fun. Okay, ready? I'm going to take these off first and then I'm going to put them right back just to just to mess with you. Set mining bot to that block, that block, and then start. Oh my god. If I do that, does it still work? Yes, it does. Let's do another one. Mining block on you. Okay, now you're gonna mine. There we go. And then another one. Set mining block. Bam, bam. And the last one that I've got, I sadly can't mine the diamond. There we go. And you can still reach all of them. This is amazing. This is the best thing I've ever done. No, in theory. Oh, yes. Yes, it's working. We have a free diamond farm. I'm actually going to open it up, I think, just because they're glitching through the blocks sometimes. And I think that's forcing it into the lava, actually. Hold on. I have an idea. No, that won't work. Mm, shit. Wait, will it? It will! I can't think of anything else to do with the mining robots besides this for now, but this could end up being a pretty decent source of money, depending on how much we can sell diamonds for. Ah, 300 bucks right there. Emerald... 120. What about lapis? They, they all sell for around 300 each, which is kind of weird to say. Like, in the normal course of mining, it's pretty balanced what you'll get. Coal's completely unsellable, I think. So is gold ore. And so is, yeah, and so is iron ore. So we don't want iron ore or gold ore. We just want lapis, redstone, diamond, emerald. Those are the good ones that we can actually sell. And maybe coal. Also, damn, this is working really well. Like, I haven't seen a single one of these things burned yet. And in the meantime, the sugarcane grew. <laughs> and I just... Boop, activate it, and boop, it's infinitely leveling up to level two again, just as things should be. My only problem right now is that my sugarcane has yet to sell, but someone will buy it. What I want is mob coins though. $35 per one. What? Oh, I could take this actually. Purchase. Ah, I just did it. Okay. I just made an investment. My first investment. I bought $131,000 worth of sugarcane. And then I, let's activate a money pet real quick just to see. And then click that. And I just made 200000 back. Because that was just too cheap to pass up, apparently. <laughs> that was my way of making a lot of money right there. Lol, iron ore sells for 200 Wait, what? And something sells for 10 Wait, can you sell iron ore? Sell hand. Oh, you can. Wait, it really does sell for $200. Wow. Okay. Gold ore doesn't sell for anything. Oh, it does. Wait, what? Oh my god. Wait, it all sells. How much does diamond sell for? 30. That feels like a mistake. How much does gold ore sell for? 400. That feels like a mistake. Wow. Okay. Well, I'm making a lot, but it's not enough. <laughs> the mining robots just trucked along for the next 10 days. They were kind of minorly profitable. I wouldn't say that they were the best thing to do. The next thing I really want to do, I think, to get mob coins and maybe even more money is actually use these spawners. Getting more spawners is a decent idea to invest. I have some cow, squid, creeper, blaze, and four iron golem. Not bad winnings at all, but I did do a lot of crate keys to actually end up getting them. <sighs> okay, how do I build a mob farm for all of this? I have an idea. There was an old dragon spawner that I remember doing. So it's going to be right here because this is the closest chunk. On this server, you can't place the same spawner within the same chunk of one another, but you can place them one block next to each other as long as they're separate chunks, which these are. So I'm going to build it right here. Canon AH-125 each. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, God. I can't afford it, though. Oh, I got to get it first. I got to get it first. I got to get it first. Ooh. Let's pop it in there. Let's do it again. There we go. Profit. Now, what I, re what I could do... It's just put it up for auction for a thousand. But I could also just sell it right now. I'm just gonna sell it right now. I need the money. Hell yeah, profit. I've made a whole like 400K just from this one guy auctioning stuff. So what my plan is, is to put these spawners up here, have them drop down and then go into a chamber with the kill bots as I'm now caught with Daryl. With Daryl, the kill bot, Daryl. He's a nice guy. But yeah, if I can drop them down into the chamber with Daryl and Daryl will murder them, then we're all good. Okay, this is the fastest way I can think to do this. Let's put the golem up top. Up, two, three, four. Let's do the cow. Blaze. We like blaze. And let's do creeper. All the spawners are now in. We're probably going to add more to it, but this is just a starting spawner. So I'm going to have the kill chamber be there. Make some nice and lovely slabs. And then down over here, we're going to have a big old water stream. Okay, you know what? Let's just do this. Let's put slabs there. So now items can pass under that, I think. And I can put Daryl in here or I can kill them. There we go. Look at that. Okay. Go away, go away, go away. 
You. You. Go away, go away, go away, go away. You. You go away, go away, go away, go away. And you. There we go. Now we got a nice pit of death. They go into the kill chamber. And now I can kill them, but I don't have a sword. God. Wow. Is this already full? Oh my god, it is. Huh. Okay, I need to sell all of this. Sell hand. All of you gotta go. I'm making some money. Not a lot of money, but some money. Okay, Daryl. Here's your opportunity. Impress me, Daryl. Start working. Go, get him. Yeah, get him, Daryl. Get him, Daryl. Get him. What? Do you not kill iron golems? Can you make slayer robots kill iron golems? Is there any way at all? Please. No. Well, I have an idea. I just had a great idea, actually. What if I just put more signs and then I put lava there? Wait, this is perfect. I left one block tall as well. Wait, this is actually a good idea. Hold on. This is maybe the first good idea I've had. One block of lava right there. Force them all over there, I guess. And now just the iron golem should die. I mean, they'll all get set on fire in a second. Oh, kind of want Daryl to kill him. Wait, this is still a good idea, though. This is a good idea, and I can prove it. I just need to move everything I've done way far down. This is where I put some water, like there. Lovely. I'm so smart. I'm really smart, guys. I'm really, really smart. We place Daryl down. Hey, buddy, you ready to murder? There he goes. Okay, there we go. Now, this is my area to kill things. Daryl can kill stuff from up there while I am in safety. Daryl, go, my boy. Okay, there we go. And then we do this, this. This and this pop lava all in there so it's nice and even. But now it should fall straight through, not die in the lava, but be killed by Daryl. All of the stuff will go out of there and we profit. Now under this, this was an old trick we learned last map. We can use minecarts with hoppers on them with rails to then pick up the items through this block, which is pretty OP if you ask me. Okay, there we go. We have automated killing. Can I put another Daryl? I did it. There's another Daryl now. I'm gonna die. Hey buddy, uh, Daryl, I'm coming to visit you. Hold on, I need, I need like a hatch. Hey, friend, wanna work with me now? Okay, what are you gonna be called? Benjamin. That's a good murderous name to all the Benjamins and Daryls watching my channel. I'm very sorry. So previously, the reason why we couldn't do these fall traps, or at least not all in one spawn, is because different animals have different methods to kill them best. Knowledge. But now it's all just one, which is pretty nifty. So all of this should be down over here. Yeah, cool. My two Daryls. Or oh, Benjamin, hold on. Oh my god, wait, I didn't turn on Benjamin. Come on, Benjamin, come on up. Ah, Benjamin! Benjamin, you better not die in there. Asshole. So something has happened. We're rounding up to day 40 now and something happened. Benjamin almost got me murdered in fire, so I've taken his position away. I did lose my pick though. And my axe. So I'm gonna quickly uh, use some of my resources that I've now gathered and make more of them. There we go. Diamond this time. Even better. I've come across an issue. I'll place Daryl back. Okay, when Daryl was here, let me set him to murder mode so he kills that blaze down there. Blazes were the exact issue. All of these drop straight through the lava into the killing chamber just in time, but the blazes, however, would get killed while up there and their loot would drop into the lava. That means that he's got access to them way too quickly and he's a little bit too strong. By the way, I made one better Benjamin because Benjamin is annoying. I'm gonna give a bit of a test range of maybe here. We're gonna see whether he kills blazes too early still or he even too late. So he, he's killing them. He's not hitting that cow though, which is a bit weird. Probably means we can move him forward by one. Okay, now go. He's still killing the blaze while it's too far up there. Hmm. The other option is to move him underneath. Maybe even there. If I plop him there and then tell him to go. He's killing stuff. Okay, let's just see if he's killing stuff at the right time. We're gonna see where you start getting killed. Slowly floating down through there. And then he gets down and then he starts getting hit again. It's perfect. So now we can actually put two of them. I don't think putting another one would make it quicker. I think I'm just gonna save two per spawner, I think. Now, the annoyingly hard part is gonna be the, the rest of it. I've gotta redo that rail. I've gotta redo it, but with hoppers. Okay, I'm gonna need trap chests, a lot of them, and regular chests, a lot of them, a lot of them. Let's start. Okay, there we go. All of that's gotta be replaced with hoppers, so God, give me a minute. What day are we on? <laughs> God damn it, we've already passed another day. <sighs> On this day, I agonizingly placed tons of hoppers. But never to fear, you didn't miss out on much because now I've got a place even more. <laughs>
for every hopper I did, which is 48, I've got to put another 48 hoppers with minecarts in them. But you can't just stack minecarts and hoppers. You gotta do it one by one, like an idiot. Every one of these, though, transfers at a really quite a fast rate, considering. Oh, wait, look at that. We already, oh, we've already got some stuff coming in. There we go. Look at that. It's already working. This farm's going. It's going. It's just going. I may have wasted a few days on it, but it's fine. There's been no new sugarcane put on AH. Oh, the people wanting to buy sugarcane are gonna start getting hungry. They might buy my auction. Mm, okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna spend exactly 10 days I'm gonna count the skies just grinding for mobs and we'll see how much we can get. That's gonna be like an hour. Oh my god. All right, let's speed up time. Okay, it's been 10 days. We've got 30, almost dead on 30,000 mob coins. I've managed to get my like crit method down to a science. Look, I only have like a second to get a crit, but I get it anyway. Bam, bam, bam. But yeah, and the chest, I haven't seen the chest actually. Ooh. Oh, wow. Let's go through and sell all this stuff in there. What do we got? How much did we make? Okay. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, not a lot. But yeah, I guess that was only an hour or so of AFKing with minimal spawners. But, eh, you know, about 100,000 is what we made, maybe 50. Still have not harvested this thing, I really should. We got a lot of items, made a lot of mob coins, and that's gonna be able to get me pretty far, actually. But the one thing I don't really have is just a place to live. I'm kind of homeless. We've got my nature preserve over there. But it's kind of just my, that's kind of my house right now, and I don't want that to be my house. So I'm gonna build a house maybe over here. I'm gonna go a little, quite a little bit away. Okay, I kind of want like, I want, I want two levels of it. I want it to be overlooking my, uh, my beautiful island. I want it to do a lot. And I've actually, I've still got quite a lot of days left. What do I got, like 40? These few days were a bit weird. I spent an irrational amount of time on this house, but I like it. At this point, I thought I had so much time left, I was just using it to make something pretty. Everything else was making money for me besides the sugarcane. I really should have been doing the sugarcane. But honestly, I don't regret it. The house ended up looking really nice. I wouldn't say it's strictly time wasted, but I definitely could have made a lot more money if I'd have just farmed the damn sugarcane. So far, the sugarcane and the coal has been the absolute best way to make money, but the Minor robots are showing some promise. Maybe if there was just loads of them, it'd be good. My house is coming on pretty well. I'm totally not copying some design I found on the internet, though. <laughs> but yeah, my island's looking really quite nice so far. I'm gonna do a nice pathway down into the nature preserve. But yeah, it's been really quite interesting kind of figuring out what I want to do with this place. Yeah, it's looking good. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. Okay, I'm gonna have a, my nice room in here. It's gonna be good. Okay, I'm gonna continue on building the house. We've all already lost quite a few days just on this, but I really want a nice house. I want to move my chest in here. My mob spawn is all good. I'm going to harvest that farm, buy a bunch of mob spawners. I'm going to store all the loot in my house. But yeah, I'll check back in in a couple days. See you next year. <laughs> when I said a week, um, maybe meant two. Oh God, look at the day. Daytime in real life but god damn look at how cool it looks god damn i love it i really do love this i don't know how i'm gonna do a pathway i can acquire quite a lot of dirt also i want to put flowers there but you know grass pathway is kind of overdone i'm thinking like a bridge that'd be cool <laughs> this doesn't look as good i really wish i could do fences but they don't connect together which kind of annoys me so look up there i did i tried to do fences but i have to space them one apart ah very annoying but yeah this house i spent just over a million dollars on um in raw materials. It's going pretty well so far, I'd say. Okay, but the next thing I want to do is kind of dumb. I'm just going to buy flowers. Uh, let's buy a few of these. Buy a few of those. Plunk. Oh, wait, no. Blue. Oh, yeah, definitely blue. Plunk that right there. Do some random hacking stuff here. And there we go. This is cool. I like this place a lot, actually. The only annoying thing now we've got to go and do is, you know, the annoying bit. I gotta move all the stuff from the nature preserve so as to not messy it into here or something. I don't know whether to do it upstairs or to do it down there. I'm thinking downstairs. It looks really empty right now. There we go. Lovely. <sighs> okay, there we go. Finally done moving into my brand new house. I've got some light, some hidden lighting in here too. It's really cool. I'm quite proud of this place. I might try and build like a stone structure underneath there to make it look like a floating island. And that's gonna be my last five days. We're in the end game now. This is kind of, uh, and kind of relaxed. Look across what I have, hath created in 100 days or approximately 10 hours. Let's turn on my farm pet. Bonk. Let's make some money. <laughs>
We got like just over a double chest. I accidentally sold the rest of it, don't worry. Uh, but yeah, we got about this. I harvested it like once and a half. Look at how much god darn coal we have. Sell hand, thank you for the extra money. Another one, sell hand, thank you for the extra money. Whoa, million dollars, let's go. And then the rest of it, I really want to put it up for a thousand. No one's buying it, but I'm going to keep putting it up. They don't care. So either someone's going to buy it or I'll take it down and then sell it myself. In the meantime, I got 33,000 mob coins that I can upgrade with. That's not a lot, actually. I I've just used up half of them. <laughs> Island boosters, money. Money booster. What? What, 30? What? No. My God. Wow, this looks cheap comparatively. I could afford two upgrades of this. I can get this one and that one, which makes it $30. Oh, someone's buying it. Someone's buying my sugar cane. Wait, one of it? That's just upsetting. Hey, thanks, Master Power, for buying five cloud crates. Come on, give me mob coins. I already got one. I don't even care if I get your loot. I just want mob coins. Hey, Gwethy. <laughs> Gee, Wethy. Other five cloud crates. IS upgrades. Finally, I can spend everything I own. Bam! There we go. I now have nothing. How much am I selling everything for now? Oh, wow. That's a lot, actually. 250. 257.5 per one. Okay, how much am I selling it for with a money booster? 227.5. Alexa, what's 126 plus 130 plus 227.5? The answer to your calculation is 483.5. 484. Per one. That puts me at a really good point, actually, because I have definitely seen people that are auctioning for less. Like that guy. I can get that. I can make money from this. I can make money from that guy. I bought his whole stock for 200,000. And while we're at it, let's just do this, because why not? Okay, bam, activate that. And then, bam, sell. 295,000 plus. There we go. I just made 400,000. I doubled it. Let's go, Pog. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That guy's selling it for even cheaper. <sighs> Big money, big money, big money. Bought that sugar cane, 432,000. Sold it for another 400,000. Then I get another 400,000. I doubled my money in one click. It pays to be rich, bud. It pays to be rich. Well, we've got two full days left. I could sit here grinding the mobs f farm, but that was hell, to be honest with you. I do have a lot of crates left when the world left. Okay, I do have a lot of crates left. Oh my God, I've got a lot of crates left. I have vote keys somehow. All I want is mob coins. No, all I want is mob coins. I've got money. Mob coins, please. Don't want that. All right, let's use one of the last days to get some mob coins. Oh, that's good. That's a good win. Oh, I got a wait. Oh my God, I got a rank and 500k. I got a rank. Hey boys, you watch this far into the video. It's day like 98, 99 now. Let's give away a rank. Angel rank on the server right now. And you know what? It's the new server release. I'm the owner of it. Let's throw in... You better cut that out. <laughs> let's throw in a let's throw in a fairy rank as well, the top rank on the server. Comment your name in the comments. I will pick it in the next video. No, oh, mob coin. Let's go. Hey, mob coin. Oh my god, really? Really? I mean, you know what? Not bad. I'm gonna be able to sell that for a lot of money. Woo! Big mob coin. Let's go. Oh my god. I just won the Utopia rank. Oh well, that's the other rank we're giving away then. That's the second to top rank. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I got a splattering of random amounts of money, which is pretty good. Easily enough, like another $10 million. I have spare harvester hoe, which is going to be really useful. And a rarer skill pet. I got an extra bump up on it. Not that I was using it in the first place. Is that enough to... It's enough for one upgrade. <laughs> IS upgrade. Can I afford one more level of that? Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll get one more level of that. There we go. I guess that's a little bit better. Well, how much do I sell this for now? Oh, wow. That's actually a lot. Alexa, 180 plus 1. 191 plus 360. How much are you? The answer to your calculation is 731. Was that helpful? Yes! 731! That's very good! Wait, wait, wait. What am I doing? Do I have money boosters? Wait, that's a booster. Whoa, wait, whoa, wait, wait, wait. That was a booster I just activated for how long? 15 minutes? Oh, God. Uh, like one of them real quick. Let's just... Oh, my God. That's one point... That's an extra $270. Hey, buddy. Money pet on. Let's go. I've only got one minute to do all this, but time to make some money out of no one. Where's this guy? 700. Let me buy all of your stock. Thank you. I think that's it for under a thousand. Taking my auctions out of the AH and I'm selling it for even more money. Ooh, let's go. Oh my God. I'm trying to sort out a mob coin deal right now. Ooh, he fuck he, me he messed up. There's no way he didn't mess up. There's no way that guy didn't just mess up. Oh my God. I'm in panic buying mode, dude. I'm in panic buying mode. There's no way he didn't mess up that he just set that to 500 less than it's worth. Oh, I got my money's worth there. That was only like 20 mil for like 15. Th oh, that's less than the market value by like a lot. That's more than enough to get that last upgrade, right? 
Yeah. Bam, now it's at 450. That's a giant upgrade. Are you kidding me? And then there's the money booster upgrade, which adds to it again. So if I activate, hold on. If I activate my trap card. Okay. And then sell that now with a money booster on. Alexa, what is 223 plus 180 plus 315 plus 450? 223 plus 180 plus 315 plus 450 is 1,168. I am now selling it for more than $1,000 a piece. Yes! I'm richer than all these people! What do I have squids? I don't know how the squids are gonna work. I don't know what that's gonna do, but squids, I guess. I guess it's extra something. It's something to sell, I guess. My plan is now gonna be harvest all this Put it on the auction house, orc all for $69 billion. An amount that no one would... 6969. There we go. Now, the sugarcane's worth... If someone buys that, then thank you for the money, you know? It's like seven times more than you could sell it for. But, you know, worth. I'm gonna keep it up there, and then I'm gonna be able to cancel my auction. And then I'll be able to sell it with the hoe when I can get all of them together. Because putting it in chests would be really annoying. I'd rather just have it in one play, one click. We're making millions. So many millions of dollars, making millions of bucks. 500 each, that's a deal. I don't know if you noticed, but we're on day 102. This challenge is over. I have spent 10 and a half hours doing this. I have profited an awful lot, an awful lot. But yeah, this is pretty cool. Farming skill is still terrible. It's so hard to level up farming. I'm gonna grind that overnight. Actually, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna farm this overnight and just see how much I can get. But I will see you. This was a cool little adventure that took me hours and hours in the entire night and day. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Put the notifications on and even check if you think you're subscribed, you might not be. Sometimes YouTube unsubscribes you. Plus, it'd be really nice if you put to subscribe. All right, I'll see See you in the next one. Peace! Build a really nice house and just gaze across everything you've built at the new Finster Home Show. Coming to your local area soon.